past year, cities and counties across the country, including several in North Carolina, have fallen victim to cyber attacks, crooks holding systems hostage with million dollar ransoms. We sent CBS 17's Michael Hyland to get answers about Wake County's efforts to try and avoid this if it happens. Michael. We're not just talking about impacts to the county's website here, but also access to your information and how much work could even get done here at the Justice Center. This is a threat communities across the state and the country are facing every day. They infected all these devices on the Every internet. day, Craig Petronella sees threats the around the world. And the hackers are really looking at the low-hanging fruit, what's easy. And the attacks are more frequent. This year, he says they're up four times over last year. One untrained employee, one wrong click, and all the systems can come down. Recently, for the third time in six years, hackers targeted Orange County. For days, some county services were unavailable. Petronella says typically hackers will exploit a weakness in security, such as an employee opening a link they shouldn't, and demand a ransom from a local government or another entity. It's so common, he even wrote a ransomware hostage rescue guide. The more that people pay, it's, um, it's easy money, right? It's a situation Wake County is trying to avoid. Bill Greaves is the county's chief information and innovation officer. And it also damages our reputation, causes the citizens to lose confidence in our ability to provide services. He says the county trains employees, runs simulations, and has seen an increase in employees reporting suspicious emails. Petronella says it comes down to having strong data backup, as well as disaster recovery and business continuity plans. What the, the hackers know is that over 90% do not have those three things in order. And why they'll keep trying to cause chaos every day. County leaders say this is also a difficult issue to talk about because they don't want to draw any unnecessary attention to themselves from these potential hackers. At the same time, they want people to know that they are taking some steps to try to safeguard against these attacks when they do happen. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News.